So recently I was actually sent a fake Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This is basically like a replica um, of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. They actually ended up sending me the Smash Bros one, but I know they've got a few different ones on their website. So if you guys wish to buy one of these, um, I will leave a link to one in the description. Obviously it's not legit, so it's going to be cheaper than the real Pro Controller, but um, I will be taking it out, having a look at it, see if the quality is good and seeing if you can actually play games with it quite well. So first of all, let's just take a look at the box. As you can see, this is the Smash Bros edition, and if we take a look at the back, this is all the information on there. So it says compatible with all games which has on its card case, I don't know what that means, includes motion controls, HD rumble, built in amiibo, so it has amiibo support, um, amiibo functionality and more built-in battery built-in battery can last 20 hours okay and there's a few more information of what it comes with so let's just go ahead and unbox this right now i'm going to try and set this up and get it working on my switch as well so let's just see so this is everything it comes with this is what the controller looks like now is this like the actual replica of the smash bros one i'm gonna have to like google image it a bit and have a look but um the control the quality of it is feels pretty good it looks like it's got some charge in it already Let's just press all the buttons. It does feel pretty good. I mean, if one of my friends handed this to me, I probably wouldn't be able to tell if it was fake or something. Um, that is the back of it. There's like the, there's like a small button, that like a reset button or something? And then there's like a port next to it. Obviously we've got left and right. Everything seems to press okay, to be honest. Everything seems to click pretty well. So yeah, that is the controller. Um, it's got the screws down here. I don't know if that's on the real one. And obviously that's the back as well. So I might just have a look on Google Images and see if this looks like the real one or not. Okay, so the first big difference is obviously the Nintendo Switch logo is not on there. How much is um, the Smash Bros controller? I'm just going to have a look. Is it actually expensive? Let's just have a look on Amazon right now. So, it's over £100? What the heck? Why is the Smash Bros... Oh, that one's not too bad. Oh, that's probably one of these fake ones. Okay, so apparently the real one is over £100. I think this was about 30 something pounds, so a bit of a difference. I mean, you probably could get the real one somewhere else cheaper. But yeah, not too bad. And it also came with this. This is just a normal... Um, is this USB Type-C? Oh, it's a USB Type-C cable. That's pretty good. I like USB Type-C. It's definitely one of the better connections. And it's just like a normal cable. Not exactly high quality. Not exactly that cheap either. So yeah, let's go on our Nintendo Switch and let's try and pair it. I think it did come with some instructions somewhere. Yeah, there are some instructions in here. So here are the instructions. I'm going to try and set this up with my Switch in a second. Now you can just set this up like a normal Pro Controller, even though Nintendo haven't made it very clear. So what you actually want to do is just tap on the settings icon right here and go into the system settings. If you have flight mode turned on, what you want to do is turn controller Bluetooth on and turn NFC on. You can leave Wi-Fi turned off, so if you have custom firmware and you don't have to risk getting banned. And then what you actually want to do in the system settings is just go over to the left and we're just going to scroll all the way down and we're looking for controllers and sensors. So on here, you want to go to the top option which is change controller grip and order and you just want to press A to open up this. Now Nintendo haven't made this very clear. They say you press L and R to connect it but um, if you press those it's just not going to work at all. Or for me it actually did work um, first time. What you actually have to do is sync it. So um, there will be like a small button here. What you actually have to do is press that and you can actually sync the controller um, to it. So as you can see I've pressed it. We're then going to wait. And as you can see, it's going to pair it again. So there's two ways of doing it. Press L and R or the sync button. And then you just want to press A. And there you go. You can now go back and your controller will be working. So we can then go and test our game. Let's test out some Skyrim. If Skyrim lets us... If it even has control support on Skyrim, I think it should. So let's try it. There you go. It works. So let's just continue. Continue a game. And um, yeah, so that is pretty much how you do it. This controller, completely fine. It feels pretty good. It's not like, it's pretty solid. Doesn't feel like I can pull it apart or anything. Sometimes fake controllers on consoles are very kind of cheap made. This is pretty high quality. It doesn't rattle or anything like that. You know, it's got, um, it's got a nice weight to it as well and it feels pretty good. It looks exactly like the legit version, obviously, but we're missing the logo. So let's just wait for Skyrim to load and um, yeah, I'll try some Skyrim gameplay. 
So I have not played Skyrim in a very long time, but let me try it out. Let's try out the controller on it. So it feels pretty good. Do you know, I can't even remember the controls. X was jump. I do not remember that. So yeah, I don't really play my Switch um, as like viewers of my channel know. But yeah, um, a company wanted to send me this controller. Um, of course, there'll be a link to it in the description. So if you want a pro controller that's cheap, not, you know, expensive, it's not official or anything like that, but it's still pretty good quality. I could definitely use this completely fine. You know, it feels good. Um, you can also use this on your computer. You can probably use this on other things as well. And um, yeah, it's basically just a replica pro, pro controller for the Nintendo Switch and gameplay and everything like that is completely fine as you can see I can play Skyrim completely fine with no problems at all I would test this on a game like Smash Bros but um, Nintendo don't like me they will just block the video if I put one of their games in and um, yeah so that's pretty much it this is the replica pro controller or this is the Smash Bros edition they also have Splatoon and the regular one so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys would like one of these make sure to check them out they're pretty cool maybe I will make a video on how to use this on your computer as well so if you guys enjoyed Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.